Border Patrol. It was really frustrating to watch Governor Abbott today and other governors come to the border and use it as a political tool. The policies are so broken, they are so harmful, and they really are intended to penalize and imprison primarily black and brown men and women. We're seeing individuals who are seeking protection, who are seeking safe haven right here. This is not new. What is new is the hateful rhetoric. And that drumbeat is extremely, extremely dangerous. Two years ago, we saw the massacre in El Paso, saying that this invasion had to be controlled by some shooter. Just last week, the Border Patrol in Brooks County found a man hanging, a Mexican man hanging, a lynching in Brooks County. I hate to say this, but there's a real consequence, Mark, and we're angry, we're frustrated, because it's politics, it's political theater, but the consequences are just so severe. One of Abbott's policies is Operation Lone Star. Can you talk a little bit about that? We've gone from catch and release to catch and jail. He declares a border disaster and claims under these disaster authorities that he can arrest migrants, that he can arrest asylum seekers and put them into state jails. The governor and his state agencies have been in cahoots with landowners who have agreed to bring charges of criminal trespass against asylum seekers and migrants who are crossing in that particular area. So what happens instead of Border Patrol being allowed to do their job, those individuals uh, are then apprehended by state troopers and they put them in state jails. They languish in state jails on the taxpayer dime for weeks. They can't do this. They're not intended to do this. So Abbott's creating a parallel border militarization complex through the state. And that's what he's saying is catch in jail. Is it constitutional? It is not constitutional. Joe Biden is grappling with this issue and having huge challenges with it. How do you think he's doing so far? We give President Biden a big F. It's not about Democrats or Republicans. It's not partisan politics. It's really the politics of bad policies. Mm -hmm. And I think we all agree that the policies that are currently uh, implemented are failing. It's just we disagree on what we're supposed to be solving. Yeah. If the problem is too many people coming in here and deterrence is the goal, to keep people out, which has never been who we are as Americans, as far as I'm concerned. I can only imagine Greg Abbott seeing this and saying, well, if Laura Pena were governor, she'd just let everybody across, there'd be no deterrence. Your approach would really create more problems. What would you say to the governor? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying we can do things better, that we can actually center human dignity, and that that is actually what the border people want. That's what we crave, that's who we are.